de Mayer, he's uh, on the board. Um, nice win from a horse that showed a lot on debut. I know you didn't ride her, but uh, today, much wiser, much better. Nice win. Yeah, um, she shows a bit at home, as I just told MJ, and uh, I think she's a nice sort of filly. I think uh, given the correct amount of time, she'll be, probably become one of our better fillies. Still very, very green here today. But I said she shows us a little bit at home, and uh, I don't think this was a bad field. I remember seeing the Merry Widow on the farm, and uh, I thought that might be a nice sort of horse, and I was a little concerned when I saw that running in the same race, but I thought it was going to be a tough for first timer to beat her, uh, having a run under her belt, and uh, she put her feet in the right places today. Showed a nice turn of foot, but only flashes of what I think she's capable of, so definitely one to follow. Track and conditions out there? Beautiful. Very kind to the horses. I think it's fair racing, can come from anywhere, and uh, yeah, I think we'll leave for a nice day's racing. Friend of mine said, Aldo, first four, what do you think? No, it's not as easy as that, I wish, you know, so... Uh, it's competitive racing, as, um, but uh, I've got decent rides and they're all working well, so I'm expecting a fair day. So to Candice, Drews, Bullas, everyone involved in this, I think you have a nice filly and more time goes by, the better she'll become. I'm going to press you. Who is your next best? Uh, I'll have to have a little look. Yeah, Hoonakers has got a good chance. Philosophize is carrying a bit of weight. All these also should be in the money. It's uh, just tricky to, really, to point that one. Thanks, Aldo. Well Thanks so much. Well, then, Aldo de Mayo on the board first uh, in the first of the afternoon here at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. Let's get to Vicky in the front. Thank you very much, Alistair. Tanron was most certainly impressed of the daughter of Arby. You could say expected now after the fact. Candice, well done. Thank you. I'm saying, it, you know, it's still impressive. She, she went away from the field, um, be it that first run. She's had that under the belt. But how did you find the win? Yeah, Vicky was a very impressive run from her first time out, obviously against Vaughan's filly, who's a decent filly, um, filly that had won and, and has won two in a row now. So, you know, looking at the field today, she had to have a good chance. I mean, I hate having such short price, price favourites, um, but looking at the field, it was going to be tough for any first timer to um, beat this filly um, on her debut run. She's a lovely filly, Vicky. She's a big filly. Um, when we went out to the farm and uh, James and Leanne said to me I could pick out of the lot, she was definitely my first pick. She's a big, strong filly um, and she looks like she's going to be fast. And, uh, yeah, I think I think probably with a bit more time to come, Vicky, I think she's got a lot of filling out and strengthening up to do still. She's 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 very nervous when she came and she's been a filly that just she wouldn't ever even walk in front. So she hasn't been the easiest of fillies to to manage and she's you know certainly going the right way especially after her first run she you know she's her temperament really improved a lot from what it was early on which is always a good sign for me but you know she is she is a vast so she is going to be a little bit on the hot side so I'll just have to look after her a little bit but she's a lovely filly with ability and I look forward to her career ahead I think they're going to have a lot of fun with her so well done to James and Leanne and to Michael and just condolences to Michael he recently lost his mom so he's not here today um, so well done to all of them and a nice win. Candice, your other filly, I just want to mention her, Stu's girl. I thought a good run from her, even though she, she still looks immature. Yeah, much, much better run from her. Vicky, she's still a little bit weak. She's got some strengthening up to do, but uh, still a bit green as well, the second start. So I think with a couple of runs under her belt, um, I'm sure she'll be quite a nice filly. She shows a little bit of speed too, so um, she'll be all right in time, yes. Candice, well done. Thank you. Next up, the Drews are going to come and join me. And uh, lovely, uh, we ch we've been chatting a lot lately, so you having the string of winners continuing. Well done. Thanks, Vicky. Yes, we've been we've been very very lucky. And Leanne tells me it's her fiftieth winner. Well, that's quite exciting. That added celebrations needed. <laughs> I think so. Anyway, I just want to say thanks to the Basses. Uh, Aldo, great ride. Um, I didn't even have to shout. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done. Thanks very much, Vicky. Leanne, a lovely milestone to reach. Well done. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. I don't often get a share in everything. So. <laughs> well, if I could ask you now, out of the 50, can you just mention maybe one or two that have been the most memorable? We had a six-time winner in PE over COVID. <laughs> a horse the Basses thought they would send to PE instead. <laughs> that was quite memorable at the time, but yeah. But this, this filly is pretty sentimental. This is Ray Ray's granddaughter. So the, the family goes a long way back with us. So, yeah, well done to Ridgemont for breeding her. And, yeah, well done to the Basses. Well done to you. Enjoy the celebration. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, well done to Leanne Drew, 50th winner. That's most certainly a good milestone, a noteworthy milestone indeed. So well done to uh, also Mark Fillard, who's unfortunately not with us, and James, um, together with Ridgemont for breeding number six, Tanner on Daughter of R. She sounds quite promising, especially as Candice noted. She was quite immature and um, uh, it, it lacked confidence when she came in. So those horses normally do come on as their career progresses, but a, a good start to the day.
Thank you very much, Vicky. And of course, thank you very much, Brendan, for the super commentary. That was race one. If you just join us, welcome to Hollywood Best Kennel with number six, Teneron. Candice just told me that you fixed this horse, Joseph. He knew in Zelugulash. KP, I work hard, man. The bull, the ufumana, the tubalogu, man, now in the chonga, and now we are. Um, Teneron, Lingo, Nyane, Nyan, the cooler man. But in Gekla, I be cooler. I be nine days, nine seconds, I'm fundis. We are darker, we are paper, we are bouncer. So on and on, this is a party. This is a bullet of Mrs. Candice. We are one to go back. Le ash my pumas and I go because I'm doing this. I'm going to go. Candy, I sense a land on a charge. This is one to know to Luman or cool up and please when I'm the born and jungle ash long jar and go to KP. I would also be happy if I were you, like looking at the horse that has taken down four riders down and Candice because she trusts you and say, Joseph, please fix this horse and you fix it. There she is today. This is Hollywood best moment. This is thousand bucks to you. Congratulations. And go see how cool KP man the bull element man. Gang go ban the fumene Easter's yearly Easter's. And go see put Easter weekend for you. <laughs> so you say, enjoy and congratulations. Congratulations and well done to Richmond Highlands for breeding this filly. And of course the winning connection and Aldo. That was race one. Let's look at the replay of race one before we go to race two.